All right, guys, let's do this. This concept is very nice. It's very cool because you see all the shapes and everything is very visible. So um, it will be very nice to do. But probably for the time being, I will not be able to do this, the whole concept. Uh, I mean, the, the whole thing. But we'll try. We'll try a little bit. Why not? So let's start it and see where we will go. By the way, I saw the guys from the Flip Normals today, although their video were, uh, was two weeks ago, I think, and uh, why they were away and everything and all the things. Now they're back. They will start making videos and I'm happy about it because I like them. They are cool. The Flip Normal guys. I'm talking about the Flip Normal guys. Guys from Flip Normal. All of you know them. Don't, uh, you know try to look surprised or something they're pretty cool guys and hopefully they will bring interesting videos and stuff their videos are professional professionally made maybe their anatomy skills are not ultra good but still their knowledge is fine and they're explaining very well which is important in my opinion at least yeah i think so it is Flip normal courses are great. Yeah, their courses are good. My courses are also good. So, yeah, it's it's debatable which courses are better. <laughs> but of course, we are not, um, you know, going into each other territory too much, since my courses are mostly for anatomy and for characters, and their courses are for all the things. And I think they have some character courses. Not sure exactly. They want me once to, to do a course for them, a character course, but I refused them because um, I already had started doing courses for myself and I didn't want to do uh, any more courses for anybody else than myself. I wanted to you know, do it myself. By the way, I wasn't, mm, I hadn't made a stream last week and I will tell you why. Uh, so I didn't make a stream last week because of something very dangerous happened to me. Uh, ultra dangerous. By the way, one of the most dangerous things for any artist, laziness. It hit me very hard and I was so lazy, I couldn't move a muscle except for playing Fallout 4. But that was, yeah, that was the main thing I did uh, last week, playing Fallout 4. It was amazing experience, by the way, playing games again. Uh, I thought that I couldn't enjoy games anymore because I'm old, but it turns out that I can, and it's pretty, pretty cool. So now, yeah, we'll see. Probably I'm back, but nobody knows. Maybe some other game. By the way, uh, Diablo Early Access is uh, coming this Friday, and I already bought it. So I will be playing Diablo this Friday. Amazing stuff. Diablo 4, I mean, it's uh, obvious. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Hola. Uh, long time no see. Uh, pretty long time. Let's discuss drugs, shall we? What do you think on DMT? I'm not sure what DMT is. About the drugs, I have tried a few things like Coke and uh, maybe some uh, marijuana but not too much not too much other things so i cannot exactly be a specialist on drugs the only thing i know is that i probably shouldn't try heroin and i probably wouldn't uh, because i'm sure that i will like it very much which uh, usually kills people you know that's why uh, since i want to live a little bit longer i will not try heroin the other drugs, ah, I don't know. Not sure exactly. But I'm not saying that anybody should try everything. No. Um, you know, but alcohol is a big drug, by the way. Only it's legal. Nowadays, it's legal. Back in the days, in the uh, 1920s, with the big depression, <coughs> the Grand Depression or whatever, uh, the Great Depression, yeah. It was illegal in the United States, I think. The alcohol... But then, since then, it's pretty legal. 
which is I, I don't think it should be legal alcohol and uh, and smoking also should be illegal but you cannot fight with the big corporations because you know money and power everything is about money they have so much money they are selling so much stuff like tobacco and uh, alcohol you cannot uh, go against them it's no. any politician that tries to go against the tobacco and alcohol companies will probably fail and uh, yeah and also people people especially in the not so developed countries i mean the poorest countries they want their alcohol i mean their life is miserable they want to drink it out ah that's the thing you know ciao nico i know they flip normals are super good yeah i mean the like artists like skill they are not amazing in my opinion in in my point of view but as uh as teachers as entertaining value as a youtube uh, you know channel they are pretty good and yeah that's it that's most of it and uh, they're very uh, how to say they're very charismatic the guys the two guys i like them <clears throat> not in this way no i like them as let's say as friends let's say i yeah i'm a married guy i don't uh, you know do this kind of stuff so don't think i like them in some other way than just yeah friends they're pretty cool flip normals what else happened these days yeah fallout 4 amazing games if somebody hadn't played it uh i kind of recommend it it's pretty cool but <clears throat> i don't recommend it to people who want to develop their skills as an artist because <laughs> you will not be able to you have to spend a couple of hundred hours in fallout 4 so you can get the most of it and those hours you can spend on developing your skills which is i think better i think it's better to develop your skills so don't play fallout 4 and don't play diablo 4 now when it comes out uh because um but i will play it i don't know you play it uh, whatever i mean i will play it so i don't know yeah uh, blizzard paid me to say that i will play it and i will say it you know I will play Diablo 4 because it's very nice game from Blizzard Entertainment and they're paying paying me uh, $50 to say that in this video. You know, uh, they cannot pay me more than $50 because uh, I don't have that much subscribers, that many subscribers, that much subscribers. Wow. English, amazing stuff. So I don't have that, mu <laughs> that much subscribers, so they cannot pay me too much. But, you know, $50, it's fine, it's fine, it's cool. I, I appreciate it, whatever. It's cool by me. I like you. Thank you, Grim Reaper. D Grim Creeper. Ooh, you're a creeper, be careful. Diablo stream next week, let's go. <laughs> can you imagine? Uh, but why not? We can try, why not? Yeah, it will be, uh, you know, uh, my the people who are watching my videos i don't think that they will be watching something like diablo stream from me but we can try why not since i will kind of spend a lot of time in diablo 4 when it came out like probably three months in three months it, it will officially came out and since i will spend a lot of time there probably why shouldn't I stream it, you know? And I can do whatever I want in my channel. So this is a good idea. I will probably consider it. Streaming Diablo. Why not? Maybe also making some monsters from Diablo in 3D. Like uh, streaming Diablo, playing Diablo, and then meeting a very nice monster. Print screen. Go to Blender and model it in Blender. It will be pretty unique, right? Yeah. What gaming channel 
you will see this kind of thing. Mm, nowhere, I will tell you. Nowhere. <laughs> this will be absolutely unique. Amazing stuff. Okay, increasing resolution. Smoothing a little bit. But very careful with the smooth here. Blender is a terrible smoother. And continuing. So, 10 minutes into this, we already have something that kind of resembles our pirate. By the way, uh, how do I find this pirate? I saw it in, I think, in our station or in my Discord. I'm not sure. But somebody had done it in 3D. And it was pretty cool. But I guess he has spent like 20 hours or more. So, uh, why shouldn't I do it in 2 hours? Why not? It's, I think it's cool. Of course, it will not be the, the whole thing, but whatever. Hi, fan from Bangladesh. Your videos helped me to get sculpting right. Thank you very much. That's, uh, that's a good compliment, I think. I think it's a compliment. If it's not, sorry about it. <laughs> but I think it is. It should be. So, okay. I will make uh, eyebrows. I will make the beard. And the moment we made the beard, we will see the resemblance already. But that's why we shouldn't hurry with things like the beard and the eyebrows and everything. We should try to do the forms right before that. But that's challenging. Probably it's the opposite. I mean, we should do the beard and everything. And then when we have all the things, we will be able to adjust so we can achieve the result of our concept. Amazing stuff, right? I know. It's amazing. Yeah. Hello, Nico. Did you ever play Gothic? No, I haven't. I think I haven't played Gothic. You know, I don't play games uh, too much nowadays. <laughs> what I play also is since my daughter is home, she's, still, she's a little bit sick and she's not on the kindergarten. She's home. And uh, at some point I have to entertain her somehow. So we are drawing, we are doing stuff. And the thing that I do, I do is uh, I turn on the PlayStation 5 and I play uh, Sackboy. Sackboy is a childish game, but it's it's pretty much fun if you have a child uh, next to you uh, to, you know, to ask you some questions about the game and what is this? Oh, this guy is very nice or this guy is very scary or whatever. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, Sackboy, it's a pretty cool game for child. But the, the best game, I think, for children is Ratchet and Clank, hands down. This game from the modern games is just amazing. I played it uh, like a couple of times. I think two times. I played it, <clears throat> but two times from from beginning to end of the game. You know, um, it's it's super cool. It's so much fun. I probably will play it again. Maybe I, w I have to forget it a little bit, and I will play it again. But Ratchet and Clank is just just cool, plain cool. But Sackboy also is very nice. It's very well made, animations and everything, and models, pretty cool. Of course, uh, you have to, you know, be a child to play it, or with a child, like me. <laughs> Otherwise, you will not be having that much fun, fun most likely. <clears throat> so this is a cylinder. By the way, I would like a couple of cylinders. So this one, Shift D, Z, this here. This one, I will go ahead and delete those faces, then select it, make it smaller, scale it down, put it, those will be his upper teeth. Yeah, let's go in the scope mode directly and just, you know, adjust it, just adjust it. Uh, he's uh, not looking very good. Let's move him forward a little bit and this point a little bit. Yeah, we have to adjust a few things, but other than that, it's looking promising. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, you have to read some questions. But, um, yeah, today this is a little bit challenging to do this whole, you know, thing, the whole concept. Although it's just a bust, 
it doesn't have arms and stuff but uh, it has pretty much a lot of detail so i'm not sure if i will be able to do the pipe for example but i will try uh, the best as i can as best as i can to do most of the things hopefully we'll be able to do uh, as i said most of the things but we'll see uh, a lot of things people are saying let me read a little bit hello greetings from hungary Hungary, yeah. Thanks for the great tutorials. You helped me a lot in my 3D modeling. Now I'm working on my first model for 3D printing and selling it. Cheers. Very good. And by the way, let me show you a Lobo again. <coughs> Maybe some of you haven't seen it. I will try to show it, but let me just do it right. So I will increase the size of me. Ah, oh. okay, this was not me. This is me. Ooh, big. Okay, this is me. I'm big. And this is Lobo. Uh, he is just amazing, as you probably can see. Just superb figure. Just, you know, uh, I don't have words for how good this looks, uh, life especially. See the the metal paint on the on the metal parts. It's just <laughs> I don't have words. The guy that had made that uh, made it is one of the best probably in Bulgaria in um, coloring uh, figurines, and he also printed it for me. And uh, you know, for three D printing these days, you don't need mm, you don't need to cut it out. This is one piece like this it's one piece and it's printed as one piece it's not cut like uh, the dog separate and everything no it's one piece and like this and it happens it's cool no problem so many people are asking but how to cut my models for printing or whatever? you don't need to these days this is a pretty complex model and everything but you know <laughs> it's very well painted yes Thank you, Nico. My inspiration missed you. Ah, I sh shouldn't be your inspiration, by the way. I'm just, uh, you know, this kind of a bold old guy. It's um, shouldn't be exactly your inspiration. But let me make myself a little bit smaller. And yeah. Nick, uh, hey, Nico. I'm back from uh, compulsory military service, military service. In a few minutes, I will start my first photorealistic male head sculpt project. Very good, but uh, in, in my opinion, in the beginning, before you start your first uh, project, you need to mm, you need to practice a lot first. I mean, uh, anatomy and uh, face anatomy. I think practicing first, making like, uh, like 30, 40 heads for a month before starting something realistic or whatever, some big project, will help you a lot with this big project but this is my opinion just my opinion who am i to say no but i'm just saying it's what i think it is nico will go from art to youtube gamer and make lots of money <laughs> we'll we'll see hello sir how are you sir i'm pretty good sir i'm pretty good sir and uh yeah my back is kind of okay now and uh, my health is good. Yeah, pretty well. Is your daughter old enough to play take, Takes Two? It's a co-op game on PC, extremely good, makes you use your brain. No, she's not that uh, old. I mean, she's f not even five years old. She's uh, four and a half. And uh, she cannot, uh, you know, her motor activities are not very uh, well developed yet. It's normal. I mean, she's not undeveloped for her age. On the contrary, she's very good. She's drawing also pretty well, better than her classmates. But uh, still, she's like four and a half, so we cannot expect too much from her. Nico, have you tried sculpting in VR? Also, start watching your character creation for a game. Loving it so far. Keep it the good work. Thank you very much. No, I haven't tried sculpting in VR. I don't have VR glasses. I'm considering buying the psvr 2 for for ps5 
for PlayStation, the P PlayStation VR glasses. But then I will not be able to sculpt again with VR because in PlayStation, I don't think you have the option. So I'm not doing anything. <laughs> can, you, can you say something Bulgarian? I know Ukrainian and Russian, so maybe I will understand you. Because all Eastern languages are kind of one language family. Yeah, they are one language family, but usually you have to adjust your brain into in, into certain language and you sh should also be able to i mean you you should you have to be mm, you have to hear it a lot of times and start to develop understanding of this language even if it's a slavic a slavic language for example ukrainian i cannot understand russian i understand pretty well but ukrainian i cannot polish probably not even serbian it's difficult for me to understand because I have to like adjust my brain, my brain has to adjust. And from the first time, if I hear it, it will be difficult. So it probably will not be. Uh, you can go to my uh, other channel, by the way, with knives. It's called uh, Niku Hard, I think. Niku Hard. And there I have some videos in Bulgarian, some older, older videos, because most of my videos there are in English. Uh, yesterday I made a video there, I mean, or the day before yesterday, I think. I made a review of one knife because I like folding knives and this was the knife. This knife, by the way, is very unique because you can disassemble the whole knife. You know, you can just disassemble it uh, only with hands, without any tools, which is very cool. And it's pretty nice. But whatever, uh, I'm just, uh, you know, knife collector. I'm collecting folding knives and I like them very much. So it's cool. Don't worry, I'm not some kind of a psychopath and uh, nothing. Everybody have knives. You have knives in your home, uh, in the kitchen mostly. But I have knives all over my desks. And probably most people <coughs> who are following my channel know that. But it's cool. So let's uh, do one sphere. This will be one sphere. But then we will do another sphere. Two spheres. One is for the beard. Let's make it. It will be here. The other one is for the towel on the head, on ba bandana or whatever it's called. Yeah, let's call it bandana. Although probably the pirates are, I don't know if they call it bandana. Bandana sounds a little bit Spanish, you know, Mexican or Spanish. I don't know if Mexicans will uh, take offensive if uh, mm, I call them Spanish. Or Spanish will take offensive if I call them Mexicans. I'm not sure how this uh, is going on. It's interesting. I haven't been in Mexico, by the way. The only... I've, I've been in a couple of uh, Spanish-speaking countries like Argentina and Spain. Yeah, strangely, Spain, uh, they speak Spanish in Spain. I have been in Spain, uh, I think, two times. One only in Barcelona, and one time I made a trip around the uh, south, southern Spain. It was amazing. Very nice cities, very nice food. It's very cool in Spain. In Argentina, also pretty nice food. But uh, there are some strange things in Argentina, by the way. The bus drivers were very strange. They were driving like crazy. Uh, but I haven't seen that kind of driving anywhere in, in Europe, for example. Even in Asia, I haven't seen it. In Brazil and Argentina, they were driving like, uh, like there is no tomorrow, you know. You know. In the morning, they gathered all the bus drivers and they say, okay, guys, now we're giving you these buses. And uh, the world will end probably uh, around noon today or at least uh, tonight. It will end. So you have to drive like there is no tomorrow. And they're doing that, you know, they're driving. Say Armenia. Armenia is making hair in 3D annoying. Yes, it's very annoying for me. <laughs> I think you still need to cut models if you're planning on creating a cast. Uh, probably, yes. But if it's just for one figurine for display, it's fine, I think. Exactly, I think you're pretty right. You're pretty correct. If you're awake, you're in Blender sculpting. Ah, uh, not me. Uh, no. These days, I'm pretty lazy. Nico, stop, 
scaring people from 3D modeling. Ha, <laughs> why? <laughs> but Nico, why blue t-shirt always? Uh, this is my trademark, you know, this is my... You know. It's going to be just a floating head or a bust? A floating head with a uh, bust. <laughs> we'll see. Nico, hi, check please dream for PlayStation. You can sculpt and create a simple games. Really? Dreams? <laughs> we'll see. Hello, Nico. Are changing proportions while sculpting is cheating? Uh, oh, no, it's not cheating. Wh what? Nothing is cheating. Cheating will be if you use uh, some other people models and just don't uh, mention it, for example. This will be cheating. Everything you can do to make your model look better, but by yourself, of course, it's not cheating. Even using other people models that you have bought and then working on top of them, of course, this will not make you a better better in anatomy or anything, but you will make a very good models, most likely. And it shouldn't be called cheating, I think, even, even this. Although it's kind of cheating, probably. But you know, it depends, it depends. If you want to achieve a nice result and that's it, you can do it whatever. I mean, uh, getting models, buying models from uh, some stores or whatever, or even taking them from the torrents, but making sure that they don't look like the original model that you have to taken from the torrents and just changing them a lot. Mm, all those things are probably gonna speed up your workflow a little bit. But the thing that will speed up your workflow the most is if you are faster, if you work faster. <laughs> I know, I know it sounds annoying. It sounds ridiculous, but remember my words, you know, if you work faster, you will be faster. Definitely. Okay. Sculpting is cheating. Like it's impossible to change proportion in the middle of sculpting. It was traditional sculpt. Ah, yeah, of course. But that's why we are not traditional sculptors. And that's uh, why traditional sculptors, when they uh, discover ZBrush or Blender or whatever sculpting program, they're making amazing stuff because they're coming from hell and they're uh, coming to our world, which is super easy for them, especially if you're a, uh, if some guy is a very good traditional sculptor and he kind of start learning Blender or ZBrush or whatever, in no time he will make amazing stuff. He will be able to make stuff that he hadn't even dreamed about when he was making um, traditional stuff. But uh, it's a good thing that they don't know that, the traditional sculptors. Uh, most of the traditional sculptors, they are watching us, uh, you know, digital ones, uh, like like this. You know, like, <laughs> those guys. You know, they don't know what they're doing, you know, and that may be true, but let them do it. It's not a problem. I like it. You know, there will be too much of a competition, even for me. I mean, yeah, too much. They will be too good. Although technically, most likely they will not be able to make mm, like UVs and uh, low polys and stuff, but if they are good, they will make nice things, nice things, very nice things. But, uh, you know, competition is not always bad. I mean, it's good. Yeah. Hello, Nico. I'm working in miniature industry for a long time, and I'm very impressed and inspired by your skill and workflow. Keep up great work and teaching. Greetings from Poland. Thank you, Irek. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, probably, uh, you know, what I'm doing, even now, what I'm doing, is some kind of a niche thing. I mean, most people that are watching me are people who are interested in sculpting, right? Yeah. Uh, there are very few people who don't have any interest in sculpting that are watching me, although they are sometimes. Yeah. I see in the comments people saying that I have nothing to do with the 3D industry, but uh, YouTube recommended you my video uh your video to me and i started watching it and i watched the whole two hours and it was very entertaining it was very nice it's good to hear but uh, most of the time people who are watching are interesting interested in sculpting and stuff like this so yeah uh the, what i mean is i don't have too much of a potential to grow 
is what I'm saying. Because, for example, flip normals, they're doing uh, all 3D things. I mean, they're doing environment, they're doing, uh, you know, about low police, high police, whatever. I'm doing mostly more niche stuff, more for just characters. And that's what's making my content not so desirable, maybe. We'll see. But whoever is interested in this is happy, so it's fine. Hey, Nico, how do you do? I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm doing great. Thank you. Driving in South America is like a video game. Exactly. Hey, Nico, I'm from Argentina. Huh. Yeah, I was in Argentina too. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, I think it's good in Argentina. I mean, when I was there in Buenos Aires, it was pretty cool. I mean, the city itself is very nice, especially the central part. Um, but it's not. it was not very clean back when I was there. And also, there was a little bit of a problem with the currency. Uh, cambio, 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 you know. <laughs> yeah, I always, I will always remember the guys that are standing. You're walking on the central street and there are stores uh, all around. And guys, every like 50 meters, a guy is standing uh, on the side of the street and uh, cambio, 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 cambio. I, I cannot say it that quickly. They're, they're saying it super quick. Cambio, cambio, cambio. And cambio means, means change. And so, uh, yeah. There were exchanging uh, dollars, so I have dollars, since I'm a foreigner, I have dollars, and I want to change them. I will not go to a bank, because the official rate was, like, probably around 8 or 9 uh, pesos for a dollar. And I go to these guys, and they give me a course about 13 pesos for a dollar. So, like, 50% over the, the normal course which for me was pretty cool and yeah i exchanged some money there cambio 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 i am from uh, bulgaria if uh, somebody is interesting bulgaria only way to cheat in ours is to plug your rice everything else is fair game probably yes yeah if you are stealing like uh, the ai for example <laughs> you're stealing yeah Probably it's not okay, I would say. Why did I make this mask here? Yeah, Because I need to extract it. But I forgot because I'm a uh, answering your questions, guys. So, please, stop with the questions. I like to do the model. What? No, I'm, I'm joking. You know that I can do the model and as answer questions without any issue. How can I do that? Mm, I cannot answer this question, though. Probably it's just a talent. Or... So many years of, uh, you know, hard work, just paying off, you know, they're just paying off. Those are his eyebrows. By the way, now I will use, to low polyfy them, I will use the default uh, quad measure in Blender, which is here, quad, quad reflow. Let's go to 500, let's try, okay, and quad reflow remesh, and they are remeshed now, and it's not bad. Sometimes quadriflow remesh is doing a relatively good job. So, yeah, kudos to them, <laughs> to Blender. Probably they have uh, made some changes of the quadriflow. I'm not sure. But uh, recently I was using it more and more uh, instead of the paid, uh, you know, quadrimesh or whatever it's called. Uh, quadrimesh, yeah, which is paid. I'm using now this, the quadriflow remesh. And it's, it's working pretty well. I would say uh, most of the time it's doing the job. And now I will do the solidify modifier, increase the thickness. And then, of course, as always, subdivision surface modifier, increase it like three times. And uh, of course, I should make them thicker. And we'll see. Now, other questions. Any thoughts about ChatGPT4? No, I haven't. I, I heard that they released it, but I haven't been able to test it or to watch some videos about it or whatever. Haven't. Only way to cheat? Yes. Nico, what do you think about sculpting 3D code? Yeah, I, uh, you know, whatever program you are using, it doesn't matter. ZBrush, Blender, 3D code, whatever. If you can sculpt in paint, whatever, use it, no problem. Mm -hmm. 
the skill is the skill matters. I mean, the end result matters. So if you can sculpt in 3D code, and the end result is good, I think you should sculpt in 3D code. That's it. Very simple. I think. Nothing too complicated. The end result matters only. Also, uh, but the end result matters if you want to find a job or to make money. What matters the most for the artist himself is the path. If it's fun, if it's enjoyable, at least that's what I think. In You have to enjoy doing what you do. Otherwise, uh, you should change your profession probably. You know, enjoying the work you do is on the, you know, it's the basics of the good life. The basics of enjoying life. If you are having a job which makes you a decent amount of money, for example, you're a lawyer and you're making good money, but you don't enjoy it. You like making art. You like sculpting. Uh, you will be miserable if you continue to be a lawyer. So why don't you just, you know, change your job? Probably in the beginning you will make less money, most likely. But at some point, who knows if you work hard enough, you could make bigger amount of money, let's say. Maybe not bigger than a lawyer, but who knows? I mean, I'm, I'm sure there are three artists who are making more money than a lawyer. I'm pretty sure they are. They should be. For example, Grassetti. Hmm, why not? By the way, uh, Grassetti is not the only guy who is Brazilian and uh, is very good. There are a lot of Brazilians who are very good, but not... Uh, Emilio Calderon, for example. I think he's from Brazil too. Not sure exactly. Maybe he's not, but if he is, he's very good. And there are other people also, amazing artists. Brazil. So Brazil, uh, but uh, you know, Brazil is a very big country. I think, how many millions there are? Like 80 millions people? Not sure exactly. Uh, I'm just speaking from my ass uh, here. I'm not sure how many people are in Brazil, <laughs> though. But some people will say probably in the chat, I'm sure. They will. Ever thought about making a kit bash kit for organics? Arm, legs, head? Um, I think... I think uh, there are a lot of good kit bash kits already. So, why should I do it? Can young artists who buy your courses use them in their portfolios from your permission? Of course, yes. Yes, always. Luchi люблю тебя. Uh, люблю тебя is a strong word. Strong word. Uh, so, yeah. Maybe you like me, not love me. Yeah. Люблю is a little bit strong to say. Hey Nico, I'm improving a lot with the head sculpting course and loving every second of the exercises. But Nico, what would be the ideal way to continue improving? Uh, to continue doing the courses and i'm saying there you can do the course do the exercises all of them then continue on your own with the knowledge and at some point just redo the exercises and yeah i think it would be great what have we done for half an hour a little bit more than half an hour i think we are in a good space here we're in a good position here I will do this and you will say, but Nico, what are you doing? This is not looking great uh, because I have to do this and then continue. But don't worry, everything will be okay. I will do this and then probably do this. And then again, symmetrize and yeah, let's go now with with the sculpting tools sculpting is my kind of a great pleasure i i i'm so you know i'm so happy i clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth when i'm sculpting yeah it doesn't doesn't turn out super well but i'm very happy when i'm sculpting by the way one of my uh, friends here in Bulgaria, a very good sculptor himself, better than me even. Um, 
he told me that he likes when I sing. And he told me that uh, the video where I sing the Pesnia Musketarov, which is a Russian song about the three musketeers. And he likes it very much. And he likes to listen this song from me. So, and he told me that I should sing more often in my videos. Which I don't know. These are not uh, singing videos. They are mostly sculpting and fun. You know, fun as always. But, uh, huh. maybe I should sing more. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know if it's the best idea ever. But who knows? Paka 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 chivaya peremi na shlapa sud bianera shepnio merci boku. Yeah, grandpa song. I know, I know, I know. In Russian, only grandpas uh, sing this song, but I like it. Million, million, million alechros. I know only grandpa songs and grandma songs in Russian, you know. I don't know any modern songs. Izakna, 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 Vidishti. Kto vlibljok, kto vlibljok, kto vlibljon, pev pirios. Prebativ mečti. Milioni, milioni, milion, ali hras. Hey Niko, what do you believe in? Like, do you believe in communism or something like that? No. I uh, don't think there is a one like communism or democracy or whatever one thing that is good. It has to be a mix. Like in France, for example, in France you have a lot of socialist things with the communist things combined, and it's kind of working. So probably, I've seen your videos sculpting monster, yeah. And you start with high mesh. No, I never start with high mesh. Nico, what are your thoughts on sculpting using measurements instead of sculpting by feel like you do? would be usable for realistic proportions. Maybe in the beginning, when you start, you should be using measurements, or at least try to measure more, and until you develop the eye for it. So probably it will be a good idea. I'm not sure, because I never used it. But, uh, <laughs> I never used it, but my artistic path, until I reach this level, was pretty long. I mean, in the beginning, I wasn't that good. Maybe it's uh, strange, but I wasn't that good in the beginning. Yeah. So maybe I should have been uh, measuring. I don't know. Probably. Who knows? Nobody knows. <clears throat> hey, Nico, a hook from Brazil. Thank you very much. How many people are in Brazil? Let me. Nobody said it. I don't know. No, uh, how many people are living in Brazil? I mean, how many... The population of Brazil, that's what I'm asking. Just write it in Google. I, don't know. I just want to know. Nico, please make a tutorial about how to sculpt facial features of different races. He'll make a course, I will 100% buy it. Uh, yeah, but I, I'm not a specialist about this. So I should practice a lot before that. But maybe someday. I, I mean, yeah, definitely. Blender... 3.5 supporting VDMs. Wow. Okay. Good. Любит можно по-разному. Probably. Как можно не любить человека, который дает тебе знания, показывает, что и как делает? Many people are not loving their teachers. Although the teachers are trying to make them like uh, smarter and with better knowledge. So you don't necessarily love your teacher. That's the thing. But Nico, hello from Retopo Hill. I don't want to go there, you know. Retopo Hill, no, not good. Came here just for the singing. Oh, you're here, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, this is Bobby, by the way. Borislav Kichashki. Uh, he's uh, very good. Someday I will convince him to make uh, him s his own YouTube channel and make lives like this. Probably. Maybe not. Because he will uh, take all of my subscribers, most likely. Because he's very good, but he's not as fast as me, so probably it will not happen. I don't know, we'll see. There is a European mafia of artists that are Latin, Spanish, French, Romanian, Italians. It's funny when you find out, recently found out that the lead artist for EV Online is Romanian. So what? what's the problem with that? I mean, ah, Latin, okay, all, all the Latin countries. Yeah, Spanish, French, Romanian, Italian, yeah. Zelena 
Глаза е такси. No, I don't know this one. Михай Даранга в Нико in Speed Sculp should be a great battle. Definitely Михай will... Uh, yeah, probably he will be happy to do so. To do this. Friendly battle. Maybe we should do it. It's a good idea, Luca. Hello, sir Nico, I need a suggestion. Could you help me? I shared an artwork in your Discord, please tell me. Let me see it, why not? Uh, in whips? Is it? Isn't it? <laughs> I don't see. Uh, is it in whips? This is the Superman? Or it's in hell sculpting? It should be the Superman, right? Yeah, it's looking good, I would say. Not bad. Uh, the legs are probably a little bit short, although they look kind of realistic. But the arms definitely, if he spreads his fingers, most likely the arms will be a little bit on the long side. And But other than that, I like how you do the, the, the costume and everything. It looks pretty well. Pretty well done. Yeah, The nose probably is a little bit short. And the head is a little bit small. I mean, if you're doing a, the Superman, most likely you want him to be super heroic, which means the head should be, uh, you know, on the body. It should fit on the body like eight times or something. Even more, uh, because it's a superhero. That's the super. That's what the superheroes do. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, it's a good song about Nico Pirosmani. Maybe that's why you like it. Maybe. Thoughts on pineapple over pizza? Pineapple over pizza? Ah, you want me to uh, say that I like it, for example, and all the Italians um, will like hate me immediately. They will unsubscribe and go away, right? Yeah, but I uh, don't like it. No. Pineapple pizza is awful. It, it's fine. What Soviet or post-Soviet singers do you like to listen time by time? Uh, post-Soviet singer, Ala Pugachova is pretty nice. Yeah, I like her. That's it. Search No Life Foxy, his giveaway. Uh, 100KS is in the best stream ever. Okay. I'm from Brazil, okay. Around ooh, 220 million, half in Europe. Almost, yeah. One third of the whole Europe. Very good. Uh, Nico, how many countries you were in? Which one is your favorite ones? Uh, my favorite one is my birth one, Bulgaria. But I like Thailand a lot. Because it's... We have winter here. We have uh, we have autumn. Uh, not, not good. I don't like the cold. I don't like the bad weather. In Thailand, you have like summer all year almost. You have like rain which can drown you i was uh, like in thailand it was my second day i was in this um island island in thailand very interesting and there i went to the shop just to buy something and i was walking back to my uh, hotel it was kind of a hot it's not a hotel it's kind of houses on a hill looking to uh, to the sea it's very cool and there are like trees, like palms and everything. And I was walking and suddenly it started to rain. But it, it was not starting to rain, like pouring and then more and more. It started like somebody started to pour some uh, buckets of water on top of me and everything else, you know. It was so hard. I was like, I was scared. I was scared that I would drown while I was walking. You know, it, it's what? But it like started and five minutes later it was over and like one hour later everything was dry so it's very interesting i mean it i like this i like this a lot thank you so much you are cool where are you from i'm from bulgaria bro i called c unity c plus c c sharp i don't know what is this c something if you want to do project with me i'm ready i think we can make hit on google play mobile games uh, it's very difficult to get even if you have a good game on google play or any other uh, apple or whatever you cannot do it 
because you need uh, advertisement, you need people to know about your game. Uh, these days, there are so many independent developers, indie developers, that you cannot succeed. It's, it's just impossible. You have to have a back. You have to have somebody with money to promote your game or to put them in their uh, kind of a bucket of games and uh, from there you sell it. Otherwise, it's near impossible. It will be a very, very lucky thing. But lucky like winning the lottery. You make a good game. And then it will be winning the lottery to succeed with this game. It's, you know... <clears throat> I studied coding in university. All I need is someone good at art. <laughs> yeah, difficult. But Nico, do I need a good topology? Topology for 3D printed models? Not so much. I mean, the only thing you need is smooth surfaces. Where you should have smooth surfaces. If your topology is bad, but the surface is smooth enough, it's fine. It's not a problem. No, sir, Nico, the, back, the Black Adam in show off channel. Ah, in show off. I'm sorry about that. Show off. Black Adam. Oops. Let's see this guy. Black Adam. So, uh, what I think about him is that his face is a little bit strange. Also, he is watching his nose like this. You see? Uh, so, very strange uh, face. Uh, his hands are too long uh, and his hands, I mean his arms are too long, his hands are a little bit too big, although it could be okay, but his uh, head should be smaller, most likely. Also, his neck and his head here in the back are making some very strange thing. I mean, it's like the neck and then the head is like, like an angle there, which it's difficult to to occur, especially in muscular people, there should be more like straight line. And there are other things like anatomy wise and stuff, uh, you definitely need to uh, study more, most likely, yeah. And the face anatomy also needs more work. So yeah, hopefully this helps you. Need to improve, but that's normal. We all need to improve, you know. Not only you, so relax, it's cool. Relax, it is cool, no problem. Solidify. Increase. Not not like this. If I increase it one in one direction, the other direction will fail, and stuff like this. It just doesn't want to work, you know. But it will. It will work. I'm positive, positive, positive. All right, what's happening? The best artist in Bulgaria is the singer Aziz. After him, Nico, of course, it's me, of course. Hey Nico, do you know the video where the Brazilian woman doesn't know what she took a photo, that she took a photo with Bulgarian president in 2017? I think yes. Our Bulgarian president is a good person. Is he a good person? I don't know. I don't know him as a person. I know him as a president. And as a president, he is a decent president. Although, uh, you know, there are some, you know, not exactly proofs that he is uh, doing corruption. But, you know, in country like mine, uh, and also Brazil and also other countries, you cannot uh, go away from corruption. I mean, even the best guys. But the important thing is not if you are corrupted. The important thing is to do something for your people, even if you are corrupted, even even if you are making money from your position. Uh, try to also, you know, make good for the people, I think. By the way, just saying I'm not a social guy, so I will do the code work and you will do the artwork and we can share the review. No deal. <laughs> no. <laughs> the best artist in Bulgaria is a singer. Okay. Nico, do you... Uh, you did the stream back in time. You sculpted a fighter head, male, and also painted it. I can't find that video in your channel. Do you have any idea what happened? Maybe it was deleted. I'm not sure. But you, I don't know. I think we could get at least one million from Play Store, of course. Nico, like Thailand, like Thailand, yeah. His wife and Thailand girls or not really girls? No, <laughs> no. 
the Thailand um, girls, I don't completely like them, you know. And the Thailand boy girls also uh, completely not exactly like them. But, uh, you know, I shouldn't and I should not like them. I think there are a lot of people who like them, so this is not about me liking them or not. Don't already or you're gonna paint this pirate. No, 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 I will paint it most likely, yeah. We have time. Yeah. Filip Kikorov, best singer. Yeah, uh, Filip Kikorov is uh, also, I think, he's a little bit Bulgarian. Although he is one of the very famous singers in Russia. And he's married to Ala Pugachova, I'm not sure. Used poly painting for the first time in the streams in that video. Oh, really? I'm not sure. I'm on the project, uh, okay. This black Adam seems to be an old random uncle. Знание на английски го не схватило, че то бе написат ето так кат палежено. Прошу прошение. На стримах когато била бегущия строка с ответ на ме на често задаваме въпроси, зачем и ее обрали? А, yeah, sometimes I put it on, this, uh, the scrolling thing, this. Yeah, I will put it on now, for you, just for you. The guy was, I think he was asking me to, uh, why did I remove this? But I just put it sometimes, and then I, uh, you know, get it away. It shouldn't be on the screen that long. I mean, it uh, it covers my my mouth. You, you you cannot see me speaking. You know, I, I, I'm eating those letters. I'm eating zebras. Yes, it's a good black Adam model. If the guy is now. Uh, CG beginner, yes, yeah, not beginner. It's not a beginner work. It's more like uh, early intermediate work. So you need more work. Although I've seen people who are working in the industry, lucky. I'm not sure how, which are making similar models. So uh, you know, you don't know. Nico using one by Wacom Medium. His PC is right. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hi, bro. Hi. Hello, Nico. Hello. I am. Uh, in Iran. Hope you are well. Follow your work and it's great. Farhat. Thank you. Nico, you probably respond on that a lot of times, but why do you, you don't you work in ZBrush anymore? Ah, that's a good question, but it's the answer is in the, you know, in the thing. Yo, Nico, you're sculpting me. Nice. Yeah, you're a pirate. Yeah, yeah. Hello. How are you today? I am feeling very nice. That's why I'm streaming, by the way. Hey, have a great time. Yeah. By the way, I want to show you something that you shouldn't uh, try because it's very addictive and it's uh, this uh, it's difficult to show you damn it of this thing okay let me just no uh, can i oh, no it's here ah, okay. something like yeah so this is turkish delights <laughs> they're very nice amazing stuff and I don't recommend it because it's a lot of sugar and it's very addictive. And when you start it, you cannot stop. And sometimes I'm eating half of this, which is like maybe half a kilo is the whole thing. So in one, yeah, it's exactly half kilo. So I'm eating half of this box in one sitting. Sometimes it's very bad for your health. But um, ah, what to do? It's cool. It's cool. We will not live forever, most likely. Who wants to live forever? I was considering living forever, by the way. But since I saw how uh, Steve Jobs, he died. And hmm, with all of his money and stuff, he died. So I don't think any of us could live forever. Even if we have all the money in the world. This will not help us to live forever. So, why should we have the money? I mean, we should have enough to be happy, to enjoy it, to travel the world. If we like to travel the world, I like to travel the world. So, it will be nice. But other than that, ah, you know, money are just something that you will not be able to take with yourself in the grave, most likely. But who knows? Who knows? 
<laughs> I would like to live only to 200 years. <sighs> you know, probably it's cool. Yeah. I would like most likely, maybe 200 years will be nice. Yeah. Because you will be able to see your grandchild, your. But if I'm living that amount of time and my children and my uh, grandchildren are living the normal amount of time, so I will probably see them die, which I think is one of the worst thing, things that can happen to a person to see their, their, their children die uh, before him. So I think I'm okay. Yeah. You know, it's normal part of life. Dying is normal part of life. Yeah, death is part of life, you know. Hey Nico, have you bought, bought a promo, uh, a Proco Premium Anatomy course? Yes, I did. Although later I saw it in CG Pierce, but I bought it. And now I have it and I don't regret it because it's amazing. I mean, if you kind of are serious about learning anatomy, Proco's Anatomy course is... I mean, even the free one is enough in the beginning. But then if you when you develop your sk your skills and you want to be even better then the premium one is you know amazing but since all my courses are also in cg peers uh proco course is also in cg peers the paid one so you know yeah don't worry about it it's okay hopefully proco will forgive me that i uh kind of notify the people that his courses on CG Pierce, but they should probably know. And maybe in tracker.ru, the Russian tracker site. Uh, some of the Russian trackers, the Russian torrents. My courses also probably sh are there. I'm not sure. Most likely they are. Most likely they are. I don't know what I will do about it. <laughs> no, it's cool. Hi, check Kaiser's chili pepper. What do you think about this knife? It's kind of funny. No, I haven't seen it. I don't know every knife in the world. Even from Benchmake and Spyderco. Although from Benchmake and Spyderco, the most fam famous knives I know. But from Kaiser, since it's relatively new company, I mean, uh, it's like the last 10 years they are operating mostly. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, know all of their knives. Please design a zombie Last of Us. Mm, but it's already des designed, so I don't know. Probably it's not needed. I usually usually don't design things. Although, sometimes for freelance, I can design things. For example, the guy is wanting me to do some freelance for him, but he just have a sketch of a character yeah mostly character i will consider it i will consider doing it yes most likely because it's more artistic job to do something without a proper concept it's more artistic and i like it but of course it depends on the person. The guy should be uh, kind of a friendly and nice and everything should be cool, you know. Otherwise, ah, pff, I will not do it. But it's cool. Subdivision surface modifier. Three times. Apply. Okay, let's uh, do a little bit of a thing here and then make some painting because uh you know we don't have the all the time in the world two hours are pretty much a long time yes but it's uh, for a 3d it's not nearly enough but it should be enough for the basics of this character even i will make his earring let's try it earring starts now 
let's see how much time it will take me to make this earring because it's come on control z it's not working yeah because i'm at some no i pressed something and now nothing is working as it should be okay now it's working all right x faces a scale move okay one hour and five minutes let's see how much time it will take me to make the whole earring because you know the earring seems like a small object but it has a lot of things going on there it has the cross uh, it has the other you know things so it's not very very simple to make earring uh, I mean, it's it's super simple. That's let's say it. it's super simple, but mm, it will take time. Definitely will take time. So we'll see. The cross itself will take me the most time, most likely. And I will have to move the some things. Oh, I moved it in object mode, which is not what I usually do. But okay, scale it or just inflate it. Then let's move this thing out of the way a little bit because I need to make the cross and I need the cross to be visible. That's why I will move the color out of the way. And we'll see how this will turn out. probably good okay now this we have uh, shift D move it here rotate it make it smaller and then the cross how to do the cross so we will do a plane I will rotate this plane 90 degrees then we'll move it up scale it down we don't need it to be super big and now I will extrude no, no, no. I will extrude this, extrude on Z, and extrude this on Z also, and move it down. Then I will extrude this on Y axis, and then extrude on Z, extrude on, on Y, then Control R, then like this like this easy nothing nothing too difficult I would say mirror on Y select this clipping and move it okay so uh, you are seeing how I do the things in my courses I am uh, saying everything I do because usually you shouldn't always all only see it but you have to also hear it in order to uh, get more understanding what's happening and i think this is the best way to teach and many pe many people agree with me most likely because they are liking my courses so it's fine so we have a, a cross very fast yeah three minutes it's cool i think for three minutes it's relatively good so let's take it oops no 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 let's take it scale it down and move it into position into position move it let's do this guys let me rotate it i will not move the pivot point uh, because I will lose the mirror of course I can apply the mirror and then move the pivot it will be easier to position it but now it's almost in position I will rotate it a little bit because it will be better this way and we are kind of okay yeah we have it it's fine now let's just start doing a little bit of polypaint because otherwise we will not have time okay this will be black this will be black what else will be black nothing else will be black this what color will be this let me just subdivision 
and I haven't answered questions in a while, but I will be back to questions in a little bit. This is amazingly bad looking code, but uh, you know, sometimes we need bad looking codes. Let's select this and make it some kind of a this color. All right. Ah, looking a little bit not good, but uh, let's just take this and go to certain areas and add this reddish color. Here we need less saturated color for the beard and for the mustache. And then we need more saturated color. But I don't know if it will be okay. Uh, a little bit more saturation never hurts nobody. It's fine. I need more darker color in the mouth area. And maybe the... Yeah, a little bit darker. Here, this... Uh, bandana stuff I don't know maybe we should remove the symmetry of the bandana and do it without symmetry because with symmetry it will not be probably as good let's remove the symmetry and start working on it a little bit more yeah without symmetry it will be better I'm pretty sure since this is only for two hours, I'm not doing the back, as you can see, too much. I'm not concerned about the back at all. I will do whatever I can to make it look relatively good from the front. But the back doesn't concern me. Uh, it will concern me if I want to make it as a 3D figure or something. But now, it doesn't at all. Solidify, apply. Let's do the subdivision surface modifier and then shift E, increase a couple of times, apply, and then I will go to scope mode and just, you know, do whatever it's needed. And let's just put some teeth, but not too much. I mean, you never want too much separation between the teeth just a little bit it's okay don't overdo it it will not be good it will not be good let's make this a little bit more gold probably not sure how this will go subdivision surface increase yeah i have to go to edge data again do this here the same subdivision edge data increase everything and increase this now it's good uh, let's go and make the bandana a little bit more but let's see ah okay привет Огромное спасибо за, за че то пък еживаеш процес, пък еживаеш процес създания своих работа, работ. Ето очень силни мне помогло. Спасибо, товарищ. Да. А, окей, this guy is saying that uh, he's thinking that he's thanking me that I'm showing the process of create, creating my works. Usually this is the process, but after this, even if it looks relatively fine now, it's not refined. So we need a lot more work in order to make it look kind of great. I mean, yeah. So uh, don't think that this is the end of it. This is just the basic thing. This is the most difficult part. Yes, don't get me wrong. Yeah, the, mo the most important thing to get the proportions right and everything. It's the most important thing. But then... You need a lot more work in order to, you know, 
do it. Now I need to make his tattoos. So how to do it? I will go here, select a color like, no, first I will do just a mask. I will do the tattoos with the mask. And then it will be easier for me to, you know, you know do them. With the mask is the best. Nico, can you check Discord my account? Yes, not now. But at some point. Yeah, I'm checking the Discord, by the way. I'm watching what you guys are posting in the Discord. I'm not always liking it. Sometimes I'm liking. Sometimes I'm just, you know, watching. I'm stalking in my Discord server sometimes. You know, not saying anything, just stalking. Like most of you, most likely. But uh, I like when people are active, when they're posting. And especially I like... Uh, I have people in my Discord who are answering some questions instead of me, which I like a lot. You know, because you know, when you are teaching people, you are teaching yourself even more. So this is very important uh, to to teach people who are below your level is one of the best learning things you can do. In my opinion, of course. But my opinion usually is correct. <laughs> yeah, I'm a very modest guy, F, as you probably see. So now, let's go to, um, to color filter. Or, hmm, let me see. Oh, no. No, we don't have mask in here. So we go to color filter. Okay, let's go to color filter. Hue. And no, the hue, I don't want to change it. Let's change the value to make it darker. But let's hide the mask. But why cannot hide the mask? Okay, I can from here. So the value can go down. And then I want it to be a little bit more blue. So let's go to hue and make it bluish. So after green should be blue. Uh, it's too much blue. Hue. Let's go to saturation now and dial it down. Yeah, we, we did it too much. Uh, so we have to be careful with this. So a little bit of bluish. Yes, 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 yes. And now the value again. Darker. Okay, 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 okay. All right. And then a little bit the hue again. Uh, okay. Saturation. Oh, it's the, this is green. God damn it. I cannot find it. I don't want it to be green, but if it has to be green, I will just accept it. You know, it's the brightness. Let's go to, with the brightness and make it darker. And then the saturation, I will get it down. I don't want it very saturated. Although it's green, it's looking kind of okay. So it's not exactly like the concept, as you can see. Uh, and I will probably leave the eyes a little bit more white as they are right now. But... We are in a good position here. We are on the right path. Uh, I don't think I will be able to do the, the pipe. Although, let me see what can I do about the pipe. Okay, let's try to do the pipe. So, let's look it from the side view. Mm, left, for example. And let's go to uh, sculpt, make uh, in object mode. Make a curve, Bezier curve. And move it move it here okay can i select it and move it please no i can't where is this bezier curve I, I i didn't create it no it's here but it's so small ah we cannot see it what what is happening with this by the way the face from the side view looks a little bit hideous because i didn't watch the side view that much when i was sculpting now it doesn't look very good but we don't care because we will uh you know look at it mostly from the front so it's okay so this is our thing i will rotate it and then scale it can we on zero 
and it should be completely straight now put it down and then from the side view left i will try to make this pipe rotate rotate yeah this is not some streamlined way of doing pipes or whatever this is just me trying to be fast and that's it that's the only thing you know uh, i'm not sure i will be able to do it but hopefully it will happen make this part smaller and it's uh, really not bad i would say this is working almost good I'm selecting here, I'm doing this. Uh, when I'm thinking, because when I'm sculpting a human form or something, I'm not thinking that much. So I can answer questions, I can talk about other stuff. When I'm doing thing that I have to think about it, since I haven't done this like every day, uh, sometimes I need more of my brain. And that's why I'm not talking that much. Or if I'm talking, I'm mostly speaking some rubbish bullshits or whatever uh, but you will probably understand and forgive me for that i hope so at least if you haven't if you didn't if you don't if you don't i will understand though so control b here and i think this this will work most likely it will definitely it will i mean it's completely fine uh yeah i'm thinking on the go here again but i think we are in a good position uh alt e extrude face along normals and then we go and we do extrude insert extrude okay here for for those areas and different types of things i think we may may want to do a cylinder and then scale it down and then move it and position it on whatever we want like so it will be easiest the easiest i think just to position it uh by I. <sighs> 175 centimeters is average height or short. Why so high? What secret? Uh, it's genetics, most likely. Why you don't show the full process of character creation on your streams for sculpt to texture low poly stage? And why you prefer working on characters from refs, but not your own imagination? Because working from references is the right way. To learn working from imagination if you don't have a lot of experience and visual library in your head will be a big mistake and will lead to abominations which you don't like at least that's my experience so i suggest you work but this is my way of, work, of working it's uh, i'm not saying that all you, of you should work but if you want to do good things you should work from good concepts and that's i stand behind those words forever this is my understanding of the things and i am all for that and i'm all for the money all for the dum dum da da dum dum it's don't think it's funny Da, 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 da. all for the money <laughs> yeah i'm all for the money that's why i'm making my courses by the way uh, otherwise i will not be able to afford bread salami stuff like this you know and it's good to eat sometimes it's fine not bad so you can buy my courses you can go on the links of the in the description of this video and other videos on this channel and see where you can buy my courses from of course most of you most likely already have most of them 
but in case somebody doesn't and want to learn 3D, character art and anatomy, most likely it will be fun. And it's fun. Shut up and take my money. For what? <laughs> hey Nico, when will you do a workshop when you teach skills like painting and rendering with Marmoset, Substance or Keyshot? I usually don't uh, do that. I have on, on some of my courses Keyshot render, especially the one, the I think the Keyshot render specifically I did of the dragon that are is riding a horse course. So I don't remember the name of the course. The Dragon Knight, the Dragon Knight course. I think the key shot was used there pretty well. From ZBrush to key shot, a good uh, workflow, I think. Uh, and about the process, the whole process, from low poly to high poly and everything, I plan to do a video about that for two hours. Lo high poly, low poly, UVs, and baking in Substance Painter. All of this, just in two hours, I will try. It will be something simple, like a dinosaur or something, but I think I can do it. But we'll see, we'll see. It's uh, <laughs> Nothing is written in stone, you know. Shade flat. Mm, convert to mesh. A, F. Uh, let's go here. Inset. Because when we smooth, if we don't inset these ends, they will be hideous. That's why I am insetting them. Control R, doing this. Control R here, just to have more edge loops. And subdivide. One more time. Ah, two more times. Okay. I think it's it's uh, looking relatively fine. We can make it even better, probably. But for that, we will need more time. This for a base of a pipe looks okay, I would say. Really nice, easy, simple, miraculous work. I'm impressed. Uh, it's okay. Heineko, who is to be announced, who created this concept art? I uh, haven't had the chance to check it out, but I will check it out after the video and I will fill it uh, in. <laughs> who is that? Uh, hello, Nico. I'm first time on live stream. Great to see you. Greetings from Poland. Nazdarovie Stolat. Ah, Nazdarovie Stolat probably means cheers, 100 years. Something like this. Ah, see, in, in English, it's like, uh, you know, rhyming. Cheers, 100 years. <laughs> nice. Can you sculpting a character for me? Probably not. But if you have enough money, most likely I can. Overlay is off. Overlay is off. Overlay is off. What overlay is off? I don't know. But I will just, you know, wh where is the scrolling? Ah, okay. Enough with the scrolling. You know, he skipped leg day. Oh, what? Uh, yeah. Can you model a car? Of course I can. Car is, let's not say easy because it's a very complex form, but it's not as difficult as making a character with full anatomy and stuff like this. So I can model a car. And I was modeling cars back in the days of Gameloft for Asphalt game. So yeah. It's not that hard to model a car. Uh, basically, I can model, let's not say everything, but yeah, everything. I can model everything. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, mask these areas here, which we want to put our stripes in. Although we don't need perfect stripes, but still masking will be, I think, the way to go. Masking, masking forever. I'm not singing about the masking since uh, there is no song about masks. Why not? I should. I think we should make a song about masking. It will be a great uh, song, most likely not, but still, probably, could be. I don't know. <laughs> the greatest song about the masking ever. I don't completely like it, uh, but we'll fix it. Relax, it's okay. We will fix it. 
because the stripes, the, the yellow stripes should be a little bit smaller than the rest. But as I said, this is not exactly super important. This is just some, you know, something. I will even do a little bit of texturing work. Okay, so we have it. Now I will just put some lights. Okay, let's color the pipe too. Okay, 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 okay. I will, I will, I will color it, no problem. I understand what you're saying. I will color it. Don't worry about it that much. Or worry about it. It's up to you. If you want, you can worry. Worry, 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 life is passing me by. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Da, 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 da. Yeah, by the way, uh, these songs from Fallout, they are not from Fallout. They are old uh, American songs, but they are in Fallout 4. And it's just amazing. I like them a lot. And by the way, that's how I played. I started to play Fallout again. I just remember the songs. I find them in YouTube. I start listening to them. The Fallout 4 soundtrack. You can find it in YouTube. And uh, then I started playing the game. So. so don't do this, by the way. Because you can start playing the game and then you will be fucked. I, uh, as you see... I'm restraining myself of saying fuck shit or those kind of things because for me it's stupid. You, you shouldn't say those things uh, just in the sake of saying them. But sometimes when you're fucked, you're fucked, you know. It's, you cannot say it otherwise. You cannot say you are... Uh, you can, of course, say you are in a bad position as an artist or you are in a bad position as a guy who is straight but now is in a bathroom full of big gay people and he dropped the soap for example you can't say that but saying you're fucked combine all those things and it's easier it's much easier maybe nico two hours for it part of the process so it could be a mini series no 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 two hours for high poly low poly uvs Baking in Substance Painter. I have to be able to do it, you know. I'm the fastest. You know, it's... An, it's not even a question if Nico will be able to do it. It's a question when Nico will do it. Just, this is the question. Not, huh, the Nico, Nico, should he be... But the low poly, don't get me wrong. The low poly, I will do it with the Quadrimesher plugin. It will not be manual made low poly because this is this is impossible definitely or at least it's not very possible yeah but other, other than that it should be completely okay worry 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 life is passing me by hurry 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 ba -da 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 -da. oh you never checked my spawn Oh, God damn it! I never checked the spawn. But I will, probably. Uh, let me see. Oh, we have time. We have a little bit of time. We can check it out a little bit later. Because now, I'm trying to concentrate to finish this. To make a decent, let's say, fast, decent render on this. And then, we can check out your spawn. Spoon, spawn, spawn, whatever. Dun, dun. All right, this looks uh, kind of okay. I will not make the eyes like iris or something. It's not needed now. Now, I will save it, by the way, because otherwise it can get uh, wrong. Now, we have this, okay? Okay. Now, let me... Oops. I... Uh... Okay. Sometimes I do stupid things, but it's normal since I'm speaking and everything, so ah, it's normal. Now I'm putting a light in here, which I will make... Uh, let's make it a sun. Let's make it two. Let's go to this and adjust a little bit of light. Probably this 
maybe a little bit more for forward light or no it will come from here i think it will be better yeah this light will be nice and in the back we want him to be darker so probably this should be one uh, two is a little bit too much one is enough and i would like to have uh you know a little bit of rim light so i will go from the back and for the rim light i usually use either point light or area light but with very strong kind of a you know, thing like this ah this is okay it will be cool even we can make it color like let's try to make it like i like orange by the way yeah orange looks fine now we want to make a little bit of a material here so let's make a new material and we wait and uh, this will be color attribute and now we, have, we are able to see the color now what i will do very fast and you will not be able to see what i'm doing so no i didn't do it so again select everything track and link oh you you saw me whatever uh, you shouldn't be able to see it so yeah all right he doesn't look quite perfect but that's fine let's make another material i will copy this one and this one will be only for the metal parts or the parts which are a little bit more uh have more specular and less roughness like the pipe and this part of the pipe too the front part and this one i will make even another material which i'll call metal because it's easy why shouldn't i and i will go metallic to the top and specular ah, the specular i don't care roughness okay no the roughness uh, i don't need it to be super huge and then i will select this one and the same metal material and this one the same metal material so the metal material now looks black blackish uh, and always your metal material will look like this because we don't have any hdr lighting mm, so we can go here and just put some nothing some background and it will be better than nothing i mean it will be better than black but other than that i mean it will always uh you know have some kind of reflections which are from the background and if you have if you have hdr it will reflect the hdr and it will be better so uh, having hdr helps a lot now what else i want is another light so i have one sunlight I have another rim light but i need a fill light because these shadows are a little bit too strong so i will go make this kind of a 500 make it whitish and put it in here a little bit more in front like this it's too much now so i will dial it down to 50 now it's better but if we disable it or enable it, you see how the shadows are a little bit not so dark if you want super dark shadows of course it's okay but usually we're doing this three point light setup so we have a main light we have a rim light from the back and we have this kind of a fill light and the eyes are not looking very great because i didn't do irises but i told you i'm pretty lazy that's why i didn't do them not that i can't i can do them but i'm lazy i didn't do them lazy that's that's the only reason there is no other reason than that but it's fine yeah it's fine let's by the way go to the sunlight which is the point one this one and um no i want to select it thank you very much okay and i will increase it a little bit like no if you increase it too much it definitely will be too much but i will increase it a little bit then i will go here and in freestyle no in freestyle in color management i will go to uh standard then i will go to very high contrast not very high probably high contrast will be enough yes this is a little bit better i think 
uh, the contrast of course i like it i like the contrast now i will select this light since now it's a little bit too low what why is this oh, okay 50 watts i will make it no we, we need the uh, the hardcore shadows now we'll go to the very important by the way contact shadows if you don't do this it will be bad also we can go to ambient occlusion add it and then increase the trace precision it doesn't do anything so it's okay the bloom we can add the bloom by the way and it's making this the rim light a little bit better a little bit better better Yeah, the rim light probably is too much, but uh, whatever, it's it's looking good. Let's see it without it. Yeah, I think it's making the silhouette a little bit better. Yeah, so now we are kind of okay with this. Uh, out to smooth for the face. Let's smooth it. Okay, shade smooth is okay for the face. And yeah, that's it that's it for now guys it looks okay i think it looks okay we don't touch it anymore we save it and let's see the spawn from the discord channel the spawn where it is we have some fishes and stuff here in whips we don't have the spawn we have episode 9 from alex alex is doing the lobo course and uh, alex you're arms are way too long when you put the fingers he will be able to touch his knee with uh, just uh, very easily touch his knee from just straight up uh, which is not good so smaller arms definitely let's see in the help channel nobody know no spawn here this is by the way yeah my thing okay All right, Alex is asking some questions. Character crafting, some crafts and stuff. All right, I cannot see the spawn, so it's not here. Or it's up, ah, it's here, okay. Create spawn in two minutes. Ah, we have a YouTube video. So for three minutes, you are creating the spawn. I'm working two hours to create something, you're creating uh, the whole spawn for three minutes. Hmm. But it's a little bit speed up, right? It's not uh, it's not super bad, but still, uh, we cannot see exactly what's happening here. The chin, I think it's a little bit too small. And some other things, but overall, you see, it's, it's decent. It's decent. So let's see other questions. And we will be okay. <laughs> the three musketeers <laughs> can you do a course about modeling for game engines uh usually i don't use game engines yeah i don't need to nico but can you sculpt a car and uh, that's a good question probably i can uh but it will not be as good as modeled car maybe masking of puppets masking masking do do da 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 da, -da. Uh, yeah of course masking 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 of puppets is puppets. yeah of course but Nico, maybe you will share some of your speed skills from streams on the Patreon or something like this. Yeah, I was thinking about sharing those models that I'm sculpting here, refining them a little bit and then sharing them on Patreon so people can 3D print them or just open them and, I don't know, watch them. I don't know. But I haven't done it yet because I needed to have my own 3D printer to test all of those things now i have a 3d printer now it's working the guy who is using it because i don't i haven't even seen it i just um, gave it to a guy who i trust and he's using it he will make the prints and uh, yeah probably it will be okay maybe we can do something like this i have to share with you guys i'm working on some test task for possibly new work and I think I will not get the job. My model looks so fucking bad. Yeah, sometimes that's the case. So you have to get better. Is sculpting the hardest thing to learn in 3D? Most likely one of the hardest, yes. Because you need anatomy, 
you need uh, your visual library in order to be able to uh, transfer a 2D concept into a 3D world nicely and probably not perfectly, but close to perfect. Uh, you need uh, a lot of knowledge, a lot of, you know, things, a lot of practice, more or less, I would say. With the rim light, much better. Yeah, much better, of course. Hard working and practice, practice, of course. Maybe Nico is the fastest sculpt sculptor alive. Hopefully, I am alive. The fastest sculptor, not exactly sure, but one of the fastest, I think it is. Although this is not something to brag about. Mm, if you are working freelance or something, it's cool to be able to sculpt fast. But most likely and most of the time people want quality, not quantity or uh, just fast work. They want quality. So you have to be fast, but also to produce and to give out a good quality. Can you do the same thing without drawing tablet with mouse? Yes, but uh, with mouse will be slower, more painful for me at least. And uh, yeah, but almost the same things I can do with mouse. Why? Because the skill matters, not the tools. It doesn't matter if you use Blender or ZBrush. It doesn't matter if you're using mouse or tablet. The skill matters. Of course, with mouse is easier, faster, and I will not kill myself. But, you know, I can do it with mouse too, if I have to. So we have a blind pirate. Yeah, he is a blind. You missed my message, Nico. Yes, probably I did. I miss uh, sometimes a lot of messages, which is normal for streaming while sculpting, I guess. You would agree, probably. Hey, Nico, I posted uh, my full body anatomy in the show off channel. Can I have your few, few words on it? Yes. Masking. Masking, masking. Show of channel, full anatomy. Okay, this is it. Yeah, it's a, it's like a robot a little bit. So you, you have separated the muscles too much. I mean, way too much. You have to smooth them a little bit. Okay, yeah, this is kind of a like you're learning. This is your study, which is great. But for example, the separation between the front shoulder and the side shoulder is way too huge. And you haven't separated a back shoulder. You have, you, you don't have it. Also, the shoulder itself is a little bit too small and not the shoulder. The shoulder is a little bit small, but not too much. The chest is too thin. Like it has to be wider. The chest has to be bigger, you know, wider. Uh, also, the head is a little bit too big for my taste. Maybe it's more realistic this way. The forehead from the side view is too big. I mean, from the side view, it has to be more aerodynamic. Yours is a little bit too much, too much forehead, too big. You know, uh, when you see the front of the face, what you see here, the top, the, the top part of the, the head is not your forehead. It's uh, a little bit further from the middle of the head is this this part here, which is the top of the head. In your case, you're seeing the top of the forehead, which is not correct. And there are a lot of a lot more things. Uh, the hands, for example, the arms are too long. Mm, the legs are looking a little bit robotic. And you know stuff like this. But you are learning, you are studying, so. Uh, for example, I would do this kind of sculpt most likely around maybe 20 years ago, probably I will do this kind of sculpt. So in 20 years, if you are studying hard enough, you will be as good as me. So start studying now, because if you start studying one year after now, you will be as good as me after 21 years. So you want to study now. And if you study, of course, more than me, which is not very difficult because uh, I was playing a lot of games back in the days. I had periods of like one or two months in, in the whole year 
that I was studying uh, actively. If you study every day, you will be able to shrink that time a lot. This pirate looks blind and happy. Yeah, he's pretty blind and pretty happy, I would say. But happy, right? Yeah. Because I'm happy, happy, happy pirate. Happy, 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 happy. Clap along if you feel like I'm happy pirate too. Because I'm happy, clap along if you feel. Happiness is the truth. Clap along if you feel like a brew without a hell. Because I'm happy. I'm just, uh, you know, doing some wrinkles in here so he looks like he's smiling with his eyes too. And, you know, just a little touch here and there can make a big difference. If you know what you're doing. And I usually do. But it wasn't like that always i wasn't always like that you know uh, that's what i'm saying for example 15 years ago when i started sculpting no i started sculpting like 13 years ago let's say but before that i was drawing so even when i was drawing i didn't understand quite well some of the things when i started sculpting i started to understand to understand more the forms and everything so with sculpting you can i think it's faster and quickly you can uh, better understand the forms and the shapes of the human body, I, I, I would say. And then you will enrich your visual library and you will start to get better and better and better and better. Let's make uh, lower teeth, by the way, because this way he looks a little bit strange. Without the lower teeth, I mean. Uh, how to make them? I will just shift D and then move them down. If it doesn't crash, it will be amazing. And it doesn't so it's amazing right uh but no uh, what i will do is control no just p selection so there will be in another selection i will uh, alt q to select this selection uh, i, sh I w wasn't able to but to do it but whatever now i will move it down now i will disable the symmetry and rotate it one hundred and eighty degrees, and then we'll be able to see a little bit of a lower tip because he is biting this this pipe. He cannot hold it just with uh, his upper uh, upper teeth and the lower lip. It's not exactly what's happening, and. I think we are improving the sculpt, you know. At least we should be improving the sculpt, right? It shouldn't be worse than before. It should be better. Of course, the colors are not exactly correct, as you can see. Some of the, it's not exactly the same, but good enough for a couple of huh, two hours couple of two hours <laughs> should be good enough and it is uh, the ears are a little bit too back too much back but I will I don't want to move them too much because I will have to move the earrings too which is not the big issue by the way I will move them and then I will move the earrings in sculpt mode no uh, not in sculpt mode in sculpt mode I will distort them too much we don't want to do this. So now, we like it. It's better. It's a blind pirate better. Better. Nico, are you from GTA? Of course I am. I just started. Ah, hi Nico. Have you noticed the difference between ZBrush and Blender focal view? And what do you think is the best for sculpting? The best is 88. I'm always using 88. Focal length 88. But if you want to use 100, it's up to you. It's okay. Okay. For faces. For bodies, you can use 50. It's not a problem. But for faces, definitely use 
more than 80 because uh, otherwise too much distortion. I just started drawing after doing 3D for 10 years and I feel like I improved as a design already more than 5 minutes of drawing. Did you ever have similar experience? No, I mean, uh, if you want to improve in drawing, you have to draw. If you like to improve in running, you cannot train jumping. You know, it's it will give you a little bit of improving, but if you want to improve in something, you have to train that thing. If you want to uh, improve fighting other people, you have to spar with other people. Otherwise, if you spar with the, only the, the boxing, this thing, um, it will not happen. You will be very badly beaten when you start uh, fighting other people. I mean, in boxing. So, uh, you have to train the thing you want to become good at. Uh, so, in my opinion, sculpting can make you a better drawing artist, 2D artist, but only in, uh, in the, not technically better, but it will make you better understand the forms and the shapes, but drawing will make you better drawing artist. Thank a lot, Nico, your comment were all on point. Thank you. Add pupils. No. By the way, did you do any more portfolio critiques? I will, but today I decided to do something like full length, like full two hours, instead of doing art station critiques. No. I think problem after 10 years of 3D for me was overcomplicating things when modeling and drawing made me think simple again. That's cool. That's cool. I made a dwarf, mod dwarf model. Please give feedback in show off channel. Uh, okay, Nico, would you look at Street Fighter 6 trailers? I don't know how Street Fighter 6 will be better than Street, uh, Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter 5 already is a very good looking game. But yeah, this dwarf. This dwarf is looking very good, I would say, because I think when you put a beard on this, by the way, too much folds on the nose, which are very strange. You cannot have this particular folds, folds on the nose. You have to watch references for those folds. Don't make folds or wrinkles on the face, which are just random. Uh, you will most likely make a mistake. Make them by references. Find old people, find dwarf people, find fat people, find whatever you want and watch and study and make the folds correctly. In here, in the nose area, in here also, too much folds which are uh, like the same size and it's just not looking very good. But other than that, I think with this, when you put the beard, it will be uh, okay. And uh, you most likely will put the beard. The arms, I like them a lot because they are like thick, they are, um, cartoonish they are stylized very cool but the thumb looks like another finger which uh, it is but it's not exactly so don't make the thumb point as the other fingers like like this but make him point a little bit more backwards the the nail itself look at your hand and tell me where your all the nails are pointing this way the normals of the nails are pointing this way but the thumb is pointing in, in the other direction. Your thumb is pointing almost the same direction as the other fingers and that's why the thumb looks pretty awkward. Pretty awkward. So the thumb is your biggest problem probably and the wrinkles on the around the eyes and the nose here. Other than that probably uh, the anatomy, yes there are some issues but it's relatively okay. You will cover it with clothes and uh, boots and everything, so it doesn't matter that much. Overall proportions are okay for a dwarf, I guess. Maybe the, the arms need to be a little bit shorter, because otherwise when he drops his arms, they will touch below the knees, which usually is a bad sign. Yeah, you don't want that. Oh, this looks amazing. This looks just... the, the face is just top-notch. I like it a lot. I mean, you see, it's a very low poly, it's a fast made, but it looks very good. You know, just very nice. Funny 3D animations in Blender gets a lot of views on YouTube, by the way. <clears throat> you know, I don't aim for a lot of views. If they come, 
it's okay. But I aim for having fun and, uh, you know, uh, just uh, teach people also, it's it's okay. It's still in block out phase, okay? <clears throat> Can I have a f uh, feedback on my female and dog model? This looks familiar, by the way. Uh, okay, so in this female and dog model, the one thing that I notice and it's bugging me a lot is the head is too small. The head looks great. From this screenshot, I can say the head looks very nice, but make it bigger. Make it bigger. My model itself, I think I made it a little bit too small also, but make it bigger. Because now she looks like she's around 3 meters tall, which is never a good thing. I mean, most likely I will not be attracted to a girl who is 3 meters tall. Most likely I will be like forced to run away from this kind of girl. So if you are making this kind of girl, people will run away from your model. They will not be attracted to it. They will not like it. That's uh, the biggest problem, I think. But other than that, it looks okay. You have made the guns and the binoculars and everything, everything. So you can spend a lot of time because this is one of my most complicated and com complex, my, one of my complex, most complex tutorials probably I have ever made. With a lot of hard surface, with anatomy, with a dog, a little bit of dog anatomy even, and everything. And you have done a great job. Also, your render is pretty cool. I like it a lot. And with the environment and everything, like Lara Croft style in a cave, very cool. But head, enlarge it enlarge the head let's see our pirate amazing stuff wow he's so good he's so amazing yeah yeah guys I'm, uh, <laughs> of course <clears throat> i'm new to this field and i'm studying for 3d max for one week Ooh, one week pretty serious can you tell me some tips that i must remember before modeling mm, for 3d max yeah, I will tell you. Uh, if you when you open 3D Max and start modeling in 3D Max, you have to uh, go to the top right corner of your screen, and there is a little X. Just press it, and then press OK, and then open Blender and start sculpting in it. I think this is a very good tip for a beginner model modeler. Uh, this is my opinion, of course. I'm not forcing it to anybody. But I think it's a very good tip to start, you know. Yeah. I'll make the head smaller. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yes. Yeah. The head smaller is always a good thing, you know. <laughs> make it even smaller and she will be like four meters tall and everybody will be like, when they see her, they'll be like, ah! What's happening? How many heads should be normal body? Uh, normal body female especially will be around seven heroic around seven seven and a half will be a heroic female a normal female will be around six six and a half probably but we want heroic in this case so seven but in this case i think this girl eight eight and a half most likely i'm not sure we, we can check but uh, we're already above the two hours so we have to finish this yeah Kid these days, yeah, they love three meter girls. Yeah. But Nico, why do you hate tall, tall woman? You know, since I'm a tall guy, if the girl is taller than me, on high heels, for example, so if she's like ten centimeters uh, shorter than me, I am not happy. I like short girls. I like girls who are like one sixty to one seventy, something like this. Above one seventy. I'm not saying that I don't like them. My wife is 174, for example. She's okay. But I prefer them a little bit smaller. I don't know why. This is just uh, something in the head here. Never open 3ds Max. Yeah, that's a good... Uh, yeah. How does some someone become as sexy as you? As who? 
I don't know who you are talking about. Ah, you're talking about the pirate, of course. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, you have to be able to sculpt it in, in whatever program you can sculpt it in. By the way, this pirate will benefit from a gold tooth, I think. One of the teeth should be golden. But I don't, I, I'm super lazy, I don't want to do it. Sorry guys, I don't want to do pupils and iris on the eyes or whatever. I don't want to do uh, the golden tooth, nothing. Okay, I will do the golden tooth. Okay, okay, okay. You convinced me, no problem. Um, we will add a, what? A cube. This will be the golden tooth, by the way. The cube, just a simple cube. Very interesting. How Nico will make a simple cube a golden tooth. This is amazing. Let's see it. Let's see it. All of us. Okay. Uh, now I will go and subdivision surface. Increase. Mm. Shift E. Okay, G, move it, make it smaller, put it in here. Yeah, it's a little bit too small and too thin, but it will probably do. And now I will just make it yellowish. Uh, let's select this color. I think it's the same. We'll make it. I cannot make it. Why? Subdivision. Okay, I'm making it. This is the color. Let's see. Ah, okay. Because it doesn't have the material. Uh, and I'm on the render view. But whatever. I will put the metal on this. And uh, it's not the best. But it's... I think it's good addition to our model a golden tooth <laughs> maybe it, it should be a little bit lighter yellow although it doesn't matter what color is the metal it just reflects you know so it's fine do we like it i think we like it a little bit so it's good it's okay he looks a little bit more evil this way Yeah, making gold out of cubes, it's pretty good. What's your opinion for Maya? Maya is good for a couple of things. Uh, hair making with... Uh, what was the name of this? Whatever. Oh, oh, my neck stiffens a lot in these two hours. But Maya, yeah, X game for Maya, it's great. And the next one is for animations. I heard that Maya is very good. But for sculpting, Maya, I don't think it's very good. So, Blender is your guy. Yeah, we're talking about sculpting here, guys. Why are you mentioning Maya or Max at all? You're such a good artist, Nico. I've said it before, but your skills never stop impressing me. Ah, but this is not the... You know, the biggest show-off I did. The biggest show-off, one of the biggest was the uh, Deadpool I did. The Deadpool. Also, the Wolverine. Yeah, it was pretty hard. And uh, But the Deadpool was... Because it has a pose, it's not completely asymmetric, it's not completely symmetrical and all of that stuff. This is just, you know, a bust, but it has a hard surface element, so it's not ultra simple, I would say, this one, yeah. Nico, can you make gameplay video of Hitman 3? Probably not. Nico, will you start streaming frequently again? Hopefully yes, but uh, how frequently, we will see. We'll see. But as I told you, now it's kind of a springtime and I have this very uh, serious illness, which is laziness is called in springtime. Usually I have it or every year in springtime. I'm super lazy. And also this Friday and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Diablo 4 early access. So I have to play it. I will not stream definitely because I have to get this time for playing it. Although I can, uh, yeah, I have to remember to stream playing Diablo. It could be cool, yeah. I have never streamed playing a game, by the way. I have to try it, why not? 
Okay, love from India, thank you, Pawan Kumar. But Nico, did some of Wacom or Huion guys has asked you for review that tablets? No, but but I cannot get it out because it's uh, too much under other things. But there is a tablet, Guamon, Gua something like Guamon or something, another brand of tablet who approached me and they even sent me a tablet. I tried it. It was not working with two monitors. It was bugging like crazy. And I said I cannot make a video about this tablet. And I asked them for an address to return it and they never called me. So it's now it's here. It's in my uh, wardrobe. But yeah, they asked me. But Wacom, no. no, They don't need it. By the way, let me, for a final of this video, I will show you the ugliest knife I have in my possession right now. It's the ugliest knife ever. Very ugly. Why is it ugly? Um, I will tell you why. Because, come on, focus, what's happening here? Stupid. Ah, okay. Why is it ugly? Because the ratio handle to blade is, you know, the handle is too big, the blade is too small. You have this kind of teeth here. It's kind of angular. It's super ugly. But it's so ugly that it's interesting. That's the thing, you know. Okay, guys. Uh, goodbye. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, this knife is called CR uh, Kitty. So CR Kitty. CR Kitty. No. Columbia River uh, Knife uh, something. It's the company. Triumph, I think. Uh, you cannot find it probably anywhere because it's old production. It's kind of. Many years ago it was made. I bought it second hand and I bought it because it's so ugly. I like it. But this the ugliest win. But if you want to buy a knife, kind of expensive one, but still very lightweight, very good looking, I may say. It's kind of a hunting knife. Super lightweight, very light. It's a full blown, big like 20, 20 centimeters long uh, pocket knife. From Benchmade, very nice steel, CPM uh, 154, it's very nice. And the most important thing about this knife, it's very thin here. Most pocket knives are very thick. They are between 3 and 4 millimeters thick in here, thickness of the blade. So they don't cut very well uh, something like bread or salami or whatever. This knife goes through the bread and through the through the yellow cheese or whatever, like like a, like through butter you know it's very very good cutting knife this it's a benchmade tagadot it's called benchmade tagadot it's a little bit expensive but i think if you want one pocket knife that can work on uh, just light tasks like opening boxes or cutting food which is the this is what i do with my knives only uh, this is this is the best and also it's very light uh, In the summer it will not uh, bring your shorts down uh, like uh, some other knives this one this one for example is double the weight and If we go and compare them both They are uh, yeah, this one is a little bit bigger, but the blade The blade of this one although it's the shorter knife. It's bigger so this one is much more functional this, than this ugly monster, monstrosity. Yeah, I'm teaching you about knives, I'm teaching you about everything, you know. Yeah. Bye for now, guys, and see you in the next one, which could be a Diablo stream. Uh, I'm sorry, but if you want to watch it, you will watch it. If you don't want, <laughs> you will not watch it, definitely, so it's cool. But I can do it. Yeah, it's cool.